This year's unique Shabbos Friday night is the first night of Pesach. The Rambam already has a beautiful connection where he says that the Zoho, the remembrance of Pesach is like Zoho, Yom Shabbos, the Katshoi. The question is, what exactly is the connection? Beautiful Nesiva Shalom, the Rebbe explains that there are many aspects about Pesach that are like Shabbos, so much so that Pesach is called Shabbos in the Torah. When it says, Mimochas HaShabbos, Tispur Chamishim Yoy, is referring to Shabbos. How is Pesach called Shabbos? So one answer is because Pesach night is called Rosh Hashanah for Emunah. The Emunah that a person gets a whole year comes from Pesach. So number one, on Pesach, it's a Rosh Hashanah for Emunah, but it's not something that we have to even work on. It's a gift that comes from above, which is called in Kabbalah, Isarusa de la Eila. There's an awakening that comes above. Shabbos Kodesh is the same idea. Come Shabbos Kodesh, it's not Mekadosh Yisrael Vazman. It's not really initiated by us. Yes, of course, the more we prepare, the more we get. But essentially, the Sarusa de la Eila, that awakening, that incredible power, that incredible influence, is a gift that comes from above. And that happens Pesach night. That's such an incredible night. We, we sit there. It's, what, it's written already by holy people that when it comes to Manishtana, the Khan Haben Shoel, that this is where the son asks, that a person could ask for everything. This is already in the Zohar HaKadosh, that we're sitting Pesach night at the table of the Rabbi Shem, so much so that there's even a halacha. Usually if a person, let's say the Balabai, the owner of the house says, okay, we're benching, and then they realize they didn't say they, they didn't eat the Afikoyman. Halacha is, it's too late. Wow, well, once you say you're benching, you can't eat anymore. But here, the Mishnah quotes halacha that says, we're at Taka de Malka, we're sitting by the king's table, so you still you still have to eat the Afikoyman. You're limited by the table of Hashem. That's how powerful this night is. So we mentioned, and I think it's the key, as much of stories and chizik that we could review for ourselves to realize that if it's the night of Imuna, no matter what happens, it's all part of the experience. No matter how many wines spill, no matter how many seats are being fought on how to recline or not to recline, no matter how many questions. So oh, yes, we'd love it to be quote-unquote in order, but it's not in order. And I'm going to share with you one more thought. Lina, there was just to say the story, I want to say the story from Abel Yashif. But before that, you want to hear how powerful every statement from a Jew is. Many Israelis, if you go to Israel and you ask them, how are you doing? They'll say, Akol Beseda. So I think I heard from the Belzer Rebbe, he said, you know why Akol Beseda? What does it mean, Akol Beseda? Simply, everything is in order. Hakol, the entire year, is Beseda, is in the Seder. The way the Seder night is, the way we work on the Seder, the way we ask Hashem, the way we speak to Hashem, the way we accept whatever happens, has ashpa, has an influence for the entire year. That's the statement. When you hear someone say, I call Besedel, remember the bells are right